celebrating 75 years. This weekend, if you love music, you might want to head over to the Utah State Fair Park, where there will be a massive multi-day music festival. It's called the Kilby Block Party, bringing both internationally renowned and local bands to the state. Okay, it starts tomorrow, goes through Sunday. Tickets are still up for sale. Organizers saying that there's something for everyone. ABC 4's Kayla Baggerly has the story on what happens behind the scenes to put on a festival this big. On 7th South and 3rd West, you'll find a little all-ages garage venue known as Kilby Court. Kilby Court is legendary in the scene. I think it's really important to a lot of us. It's got a very special, like, uh, energy there to it, you know. It's, it's known to be pivotal for the local music community and up-and-coming artists passing through. Stepping stone for a lot of young bands who are just starting out. Nick Smith, the managing director at s, &S Presents, which runs Kilby Court, says they've been <laughs> gearing up for their biggest event yet. It's the fourth annual Kilby Blog Party, a multi-day indie music festival. The first one was in 2019 for the venue's 20th anniversary. The turnout that we had from the first Kilby Block Party was really great. It started right along the neighborhood of Kilby Court and has grown so much in popularity, Smith says they've needed to expand. Last year's show was at Library Square and it sold out within days. This year it will be at the Utah State Fair Park where they will be able to host around 30,000 people. The Utah State Fair Park will be filled with three days of music, four stages and over 50 artists, including well-known names like the Strokes, the Pixies, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs and Pavement. The fairgrounds has a nice layout so you could do like three times as many people as we did you know, for Kilby Block Party 3. Normally two days, a third day has been added for even more fun. In addition to high profile artists, over a dozen local bands will be featured. Mid bell for me. So three of which I met at a highlight show in anticipation of the festival, including Musor, The Plastic Cherries, and Josh Doss and the Cancers. Eagerly preparing for the Kilby block party. This is making us work harder and exploring and experimenting with new things, so it means a lot to us. We went to LA, New York, and I feel like with how much we've been playing other places, helped us feel really confident. We're approaching this, and I'm feeling, yeah, this is going to be really fun. We're just working really hard, and we hope that that's what people see. Smith says a lot has gone into making sure everything is ready. We've got some help, you know, from out of state people who've worked on bigger festivals. Many local acts say they're looking forward to playing with the bands that inspire them. I think for me, just like seeing bands that I grew up with loving, like the Strokes, obviously. The Pixies, OCs. And the chance to share their love of music. I think we're pretty different than a lot of the bands playing, so it's going to be fun. And... Every time we go up on stage, it's amazing to feel the people so close and just checking at us, doing what we love to do. I, you know, we really enjoy that connection with people. Organizers say that they're expecting a huge turnout of people from Utah and out of state coming together in the name of music. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Kayla Baggerly, ABC4 News. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brooks.